Found me lost it. Fakes. Push it up. It will go in. Back and forth we go. 29-27 the score. 2-14 left to play before the half. Virginia High crosses the half court line. And it's getting physical down underneath. Back and forth they pass between Lee and Johnson. Johnson now cuts across the court, and Lee comes down. They get to Freeman from just inside the three-point line. He misses. There for the rebound is Bellamy. Bellamy gives off to Morris. KT can increase their lead with a bucket here. I tell you what, P.J. Pendleton has been working extremely hard for Gate C on the defensive boards. Hensley outside the three, guarded by Lee. He's going to bring it out. Drives the lane. Beautiful job by Hensley. Up and in for two. Virginia High looks like they're tired as they're just sinking back into the zone and letting people just drive by them. Score is now 31-27. They call it the play. Gate City stays in the 2-3 zone. Virginia High trying to put players on the baseline to cut across. Not much motion as Gate City's cracking it down in the middle. Lorenzo Johnson puts the shot up from 14. It is good for Johnson. Gate City is just tempting the Virginia High Bearcats to shoot it from out there. If they make it fine, but the Devils up by two now, 31-29. It's Morris with a basketball at the top of the key, needing some help. It's going to drive back to the foul line. Fakes, shoots, good for Kevin Morris. What a move by, by Kevin Morris as he just froze Lorenzo Johnson. Two shining stars in Southwest Virginia are clashing between Morris and Johnson. Gate City now leading 33-29. 45 seconds left to play before the half. Johnson back to Lee. Virginia High looks like they're going to try to get a good shot if it's open instead of waiting for one. Lorenzo Johnson at the top of the circle. Over to Freeman. Back to Johnson. Back to Lee on the wing. They pass into Kenny Smith. He's double teamed as they work it back to Lorenzo Johnson. Thought about the three. Not going to take it. Freeman from a long range. No good. Chris Shelton with the rebound. Bellman gets off to uh, Morris. Excuse me. 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Morris. With 12 left on the clock, Hensley setting up the offense for Gate City. 10 seconds. Hensley gives back to Morris. Morris is going to pull up for a long range three. Bang! Moose Morris! What a shot that had to be from 25 feet as the half expires. Gate City up 30. So as the half begins, Virginia High inbounds to Scott Jones. Jones and his behind team will shoot to the goal to the left of us, and Gate City is the one to the right of us. They get it to Jones. He's at the top of the key to Johnson. Johnson inside the Mump Power. Shot over Shelton. Lays it in good. Bellman turns to the basketball into Hensley of Gate City. Virginia High back with M5, 36-31. Hensley saying the O for Gate City. They're running the play for Morris. Morris lobs in for Shelton. Shelton's strong move shoots. Good for Chris Shelton. I don't think Virginia High has the size nor the durability to stop Shelton. As they still, they look tired to me out there on the court, even after the halftime break. Score now 38-31, the biggest advantage for Gate City. They're up by seven. Jones passes the ball, passes inside to Mumpower, loses it, they get it to Hensley. Hensley with Morris on his left and Pelton on his right. Pulls up for the jump shot, too hard, rebounded by Virginia High, saved in, out of bounds to Gate City, the official says. So the Blue Devils will have the ball under their own, their own bucket, up by seven. Morris will lob in for Gate City. Morris brings it into Bellamy. Bellamy out to Hensley. Hensley outside the three-point line. Shoots short. Ball is loose right out of bounds to Virginia High. Good hustle by Hensley, though. Came flying across the court. Nearly saved it. But V-High inbounds it. Johnson into Jones. as he comes up slowly. Gate City with no pressure. The Devils come out now. They're playing a box in one. And they pass it over to Johnson. He's at the three line in the corner. Back to Scott Jones on top. Hensley comes out to meet him. Now it's Morris on Johnson. Johnson dishes inside for Smith. Smith saves it. And they're going to say, I believe he's three seconds on Smith. Stayed in there and set up camp. PJ, I think that Virginia High is not physically drained. I think they're mentally and emotionally drained out there. Morris will bring the basketball up court for the Devils as Virginia High is going to a man to man defense, it looks like. Morris passes down for Hensley. Hensley setting up his offense. We have a blocking foul called on Chris Shelton, I believe. That will be personal number three as Shelton charged with a moving screen. And now Shelton becomes the second player in the game to pick up three. So two key players from both sides with three fouls. Scott Jones for V-High and Shelton, as we just said, for Gay City. The Bearcats will inbound up from the far side of the court to Jones. Jones brings it up. 6.25 left to play in the third period. We're here early 
in the second half. KCD with one team foul. Virginia High yet to foul here in the second half. They get it to Johnson. Inside to Mumpower. Shot over Shelton. Uh, rolls around. Tipped around. And Bellamy comes up with the rebound. Bellamy gets off to Morris. KC coming the other way. Morris across the timeline. Guarded by Lorenzo Johnson. Morris uses the screen from Shelton. Pulls up for the jumper. It will be no good. The ball is tipped by Hensley. Picked up by Smith. And he's got Lorenzo Johnson open. And he's going to get the easy dunk. And he hits that. Gates and he conceded it to him. But still, Gates and he leading 38 to 33. What good is a dunk if you don't have no other scoring, PJ? Hensley works it across the timeline for Gates City. Guarded by Jones. Passes from Morris. Morris from three. Short. Picked up by Jones. Jones comes out three on two break. As Lee and Johnson going to go all the way. Lays it up and good for Jones. Be high on the run. Morris breaks it into Hensley. Gates City just needs to settle down. They are up by three. 38-35. Hensley working against Johnson. Brings it across the timeline. Passes for Bellamy. Bellamy. Passes back to Hensley as Hensley directing the offense. Hensley drives to the paint, shoots. Short rebound comes down to Shelton. Shelton for Gates City. Passes to Pendleton. Pendleton drives, shoots. It will not go rebounded by Mumpower as Gates City is very cold here to start the second half. Jones brings his team up, passes over to Johnson, who's open, but he won't shoot it. Instead, he'll pull it out as he, Morris came to front him. They get it to Jones up top. Freeman is open from three. He's deadly from out there. Almost an overthrown pass to Jones. Jones drives the lane. Shot over Shelton. Rolls good for Scott Jones. Basketball comes into Morris. Gates City up by one, 38-37. Gates City going to be very patient here. Dog gets uh, too worried, too fast. Bellamy from three. Long. Bellamy falls. Gets his own rebound. Takes it in the paint. Shoots. Good for Tony Bellamy. It is still very physical. I'm surprised as teams are just banging around it. Uh, Jones inbound to Johnson. Both players <laughs> stop for a minute to catch their breath. They're very tired. Jones coming across half court, calls out the play. Gay City up 40 to 37. We're at the four minute mark. Left the play here in the third period. Jones thought about the three, passed over to Freeman. From just inside the three point line, misses, but gets his own rebound. Shot up over Shelton is no good off the glass. Freeman with the rebound again, still no good. Shelton swipes the rebound. And a tie ball going to be called as Freeman came charging in. It'll still be Gay City possession on the alternating arrow. Lucky Dags will check into the contest now to replace Freeman, I believe. Yes, indeed, that's who it is. Almost a technical foul called as Virginia High had six players on the floor. And Virginia High going to the press. The basketball comes into Morris over to Hensley. Devils up by three, 40 to 37. Hensley working against Jones. Looking for Pelton. Finds Pelton. Pelton looking for Morris on the break. Finds Shelton on the middle. Shelton back to Pelton. Pelton gives to Morris on the right wing. Morris pulls up for the jump shot. Bang! Moose Morris. He just caught Lorenzo Johnson sleeping. I don't know what Johnson was thinking. He has let Morris get wide open as the Devils open it up by five. 322 left to play. Jones comes across half court, passes to his right to Dags. Back to Jones. Gate City in his own. Mumpower, turnaround jumper in the lane. Good. Mumpower is just like an automatic from that spot on the court. Morris for Gate City will work the basketball up court, signaling out the offense. Morris working against Johnson. Passes for Bellamy. Bellamy being guarded by Dags. Bellamy drives, shoots. And the shot will not go, but Dax committed to the personal, so Tony Bellamy will go to the line looking to increase the lead to four and possibly five. First foul on Lucky Dax. I'll tell you what, PJ, if that bucket had win, then that would have really ignited this club for, with the three-point play. Oh, my, they're going to say it was a non-shooting foul, saying they fouled Bellamy before the shot. My goodness. So, KC will have the ball underneath their own bucket. Basketball comes in for... Bellamy. Bellamy gives it back to Morris. Morris working against number 22, Dags. Morris on the screen by Shelton. Puts up the jumper. In and out. Rusty Pelton runs the loop. Rebound down. Puts the jump shot up short. Morris had his hands on the ball. Picked up by Virginia High. Jones coming out. He's got Johnson open on the wing. Going to take it all the way. Shot blocked by Shelton. But they're going to call a foul on someone. Looked like the shot was blocked clean. And oh my, the Virginia High players stormed onto the court. And the assistant coaches came out to push them back on. The entire bench of Virginia High emptied onto the court. Call that on Rusty Pendleton, PJ. Good move by the assistant coach for Virginia High as he quickly pushed four Bearcats 
back onto the bench. Players must have thought there's going to be a fight. Rusty Felton just said, I'm not going to let you have this easy two, Mr. Johnson, and committed a good foul. That was a good foul, P.J. And that's still only two on Rusty. Excellent mental move by Rusty Pendleton. As Johnson hits the first one. And Johnson will have one more. Shot is up by Johnson, and again, good. As Virginia High moves within one, 42-41. Hensley brings the basketball into Morris, and Virginia High decides to drop back this time and let the Devils bring the ball up court. Dags will meet Morris at the high court line, gives to Hensley. Hensley guarded by Jones. Jones passes for Morris. Morris finds Shelton on the cut. Shelton drives, shoots. Bucket is no good, and the KC crowd calls for a foul. They get it up to Scott Jones. He's got someone on his wing. Going to position out to him. That's Lucky Dag. Shot over Shelton is no good. Tony Bellamy with the rebound. Bellamy gives to Morris. Morris finds Hensley. Beautiful bounce pass. Hensley fake shoots. Count the bucket and the foul. Jason Hensley put a move on. Got number 10. Jones up in the air. Personal foul number four on Jones. And just like that, Lee will come off the bench for V High. Jones will sit down. Jason Hensley has got to be one of the most uh, colorful players that you'll ever see. He has got some of the most fantastic moves I have seen any high school player have. If you're a college recruiter and you want an unselfish player to lead your team, I think you found him in Jason Hensley. And Hensley converts the three-point play. So V High suddenly finds itself down by four, 45-41. We're at the two-minute mark left to play in the third period. Two fouls on both teams. They get it out to Dags. Johnson in the lane. Shot up over Morris is good. Good shot there by Johnson. As Hensley for Gacy with the basketball now as Lee will pick him up. The Devils up by two, 45-43. 143 remaining in the third quarter. Morris with the basketball for Gacy working against Dags. Moves to the paint. Shoots the one-hand jump shot too hard. Rebound picked up by Johnson. Out of bounds to Gate City. Johnson just thought about the dunk before he had the ball. Lost it out of bounds. Devils with a slim two-point lead. Hensley brings it in to Shelton. Shelton's turnaround jumper is blocked by Johnson. Now foul on Lorenzo Johnson of Virginia High. Personal foul number one. As Shelton will go to the line looking for it to increase the lead to three if he makes this shot. Personal foul number two on Johnson, excuse me. Shelton with four points on the night, looking for point number five. Eisenmark shoots. It's good. Shelton now can get the Devils a four-point lead if he makes this second shot. The big man doing a good job on the inside tonight. Shelton shot is up. It will not go. Rebounded by Mumpower. And quickly, Lee comes out. He's got a three-on-two break. This is over to Johnson. Johnson gets Shelton up in the air, puts the easy layup for two. Lead is one for Gate City as Morris of Gate City will bring it across the timeline. 118 remaining third quarter. Hensley for Gate City working the basketball to Bellamy. Bellamy lobs for Shelton. Shelton in a paint turnaround jump shot over three. Will not fall. Pilton on the fall up and in. That's with a triple teaming hurts Virginia High. They leave someone open and this time it was Rusty Pendleton. Lee will bring it down across the half court for V High. They're down by three. Under a minute, 55 seconds to be exact, left to play. Johnson's at the three line as they work it around to Lucky Dags. Back to Lee, over to Johnson. Thought about the three, but Morris came out the front end. They work it back to Dags from just inside the three-point line. It's good. The lead again is one for Gate City as Morris takes the inbound pass. 35 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Morris will work against Dags. Double team passes to Bellamy. Bellamy from three. This one is short. Bellamy follows the shot. It's a rebound. Fake shoots. And he will draw the foul from number 20, Johnson. Personal foul number three on Johnson. What a piece of hustle by Tony Bellamy as number 24 now checks in. Scott Foote for Virginia High. And Johnson goes out. So with 25 seconds left in the third period, I can't say I blame Ballard Lee of Virginia High taking Johnson out. No sense getting a silly foul with this short of time left in the third period. Bellamy looking for point number 10, shoots. It will roll in good. Bellamy now can give Gate City a three-point lead if he converts this second foul shot. 
Bellamy, eyes a mark, shoots. Good for Tony Bellamy. And again, this game seesaws back and forth. 50 to 47, Gay City leading. Virginia High with 14 fouls, Gay City with only two. They pass it over to Dags on the wing, back to Lee out front. And the pass intended for Dags, tipped out of bounds by Hensley. Dags will inbound to, John, to Lee, back to Dags. Dags thought about the three pointer, instead passes to Lee. Gets by Morris. Over to Lee, back to Dags. He's at the top, gonna drive. Shot up over two Devils. It is no good, but a foul from behind gonna be called on Jason Hensley, number 32 of Gate City. Only his first foul will be team foul number three. And, but it will send Lucky Dags to the line to shoot two shots with two seconds left to play on the clock. Dags with two points on the night, both of them coming here in the second half. His first shot is up and nothing but net for Dags. He'll have one more. As the second shot is up and also good. The lead is one as the ball comes in. One second remaining. Here. Stay on the bench as Lee now has the ball inbounded to him. Moves to his right. Motions for someone. Excuse me, Johnson has checked back in. They get it over to Lucky Dags. Out to Lorenzo Johnson. Lee is open from the corner. But they pass it back to Johnson. Gates in a 2-3 zone. Matching up excellently. Pass it inside to Mumpower. He's triple team. Shot over Shelton is good. Mumpower deserved every point he got on that one because that was a tough shot. Hensley for Gate City now as the Devils are down by 151 to 50. Hensley passes for Morris. Morris fakes, shoots. No good. Rebounding comes down to Pelton. Pelton gives to Morris. Morris shaking it and baking. Drives to the paint. Rolling hook shot in and out. Top break for Morris. Lorenzo Johnson swipes the rebound. And Virginia High now can expand their lead. They are leading 51 to 50. Seven minute mark. And left in the ball game. Lee comes, moves to his left, which is our near side of the court, to Dags, back to Lee. He is open, but he's looking to pass off to someone. He gets it to Lorenzo Johnson at the top of the key. Dags from three. Shot rolls out. Rebound by Tony Bellamy. Bellamy gives out to Kevin Morris. Morris will work it across the timeline, slow it up for Gate City. Season opening, and he is fouled by number 22, Dags of Virginia High. Lucky Dags, third personal. And Gate City will have the ball. No, it'll be one and one as Morris will go to the line. And Kevin can knock the, knock the score at 51 if he converts his first foul shot here. We're with 645 in the game. Gate City down by one, 51-50. Morris. Eisenmark shoots. It's good. Gate City now tied, 51 all with Virginia High. Morris at the line for a second attempt can give Gacy the one point lead again if he converts here. Eisenmark shoots. Also good. And Gate City with a one point lead. Now as Gate City is in the bonus also. Gate City puts the trap on up court on lead. Double team by Morris and Bellamy. Up to Dags. Dags crosses half court. Mump power is open. Shot over Shelton is good. Mump Power is a tough player, let me tell you, folks. If you've not seen him play, he's a very good ball player. Morris will bring it up court. The Devils down by one again, 53-52. Morris working against Dags. Morris drives through the paint, shoots. It will roll in good for Kevin Morris. When you're a great player, you get those bounces. As Morris proves that Gate City back in the lead. The press up court, Hensley. Morris and Bellamy up court putting pressure. Now a little double team on Lee. They get it and tip it away. Mumpower has it. Shot over Shelton and rolls out. Rebound. Dags gets it in, but he throws it to Shelton. Morris with a basketball stolen away by Dags. Dags looking some help. Going to take it all the way himself. This is to Johnson, and it goes off of Dags, who saves it into Johnson. Lucky break for V High as they can again take the lead. Lee settles his team down. Gate City settles back into the 2-3 zone. They pass it, and it goes off the hands of Lucky Dags out of bounds. Lorenzo Johnson really giving his player, uh, his teammate a piece of his mind there as Morris will work it up court for the Blue Devils. Morris setting up the old. 
Drives to the paint against Johnson. Takes it up. Shoots. No good. The rebound is jump ball. And Chris Shelton and Mump Power having words. Good job there by Rusty Pelton as he pushes Shelton back. Tampers do not need to play in a game this close. I don't think either team can afford a technical foul. And Kevin Morris goes over and says to the referee, he says, don't worry about it. Says we're keeping cool. On alternate possession, Gacy will have the basketball. As Moore set to trigger the basketball in for Gates City. Morris into Hensley. Hensley to Bellamy. Bellamy to Morris. Morris about knocked it out of bounds to Virginia High. So Virginia High will inbound about half court. And a timeout going to be called as an official, as an assistant coach for V High. Goes out and takes something off the floor. Looks piece of ice piece was thrown from, from the Virginia High student body section. Curtis moved by him. Arthur Ferguson checks in, and Bellamy will sit down for Gate City. Gate City trying to get a little more offense in there with Ferguson. Ferguson, a good three-point shooter. Okay, the Bearcats inbound. They're down by one. By 17, left to play in a ball game, and immediately as Virginia High crosses half court, they, they take a timeout. Scott Jones, maybe he's getting a little tired on the inside, but that's the speculation as the game resumes. Jones back in, passes to Dags on the wing. Back to Jones out front, alley-oop into Johnson. Johnson immediately triple team. Shot by Lorenzo, by Dag, no good. Mumpower shot over, over Pendleton, no good. Shelton with the rebound. Shelton gets it out to Hensley. Hensley with a three. Bounce pass to Pendleton. Pendleton takes it up and in for two. Gate City up by three now, 56-53. Virginia High taking a long time to inbound as they now seem tired between Dags and Johnson. Jones calls out play number one. He goes to the free throw line, passes the Dags on the left wing. Johnson. Gacy now playing a box and one on Johnson, PJ. They pass it to Dags, or excuse me, Johnson. Johnson's going to drive the lane as he is fouled from behind by Morris before the shot. And Morris charged with a reaching foul. That'll be one foul on, first foul, two fouls on Morris, excuse me. Will be Virginia High's ball on the side, PJ. Not yet a one and one. As the next foul will put Gate City over the limit. So Johnson, Lorenzo Johnson, number 20, will inbound to number 10, Scott Jones. AC in a 2-3 zone now. Jones out of the top of the circle, looking for some help, going to drive to the right wing. Looking to dish it back to Dags, finds Dags. Shot from the three-point land, won't go. Jason Hensley with the rebound. Hensley gives to Ferguson. Ferguson will give to Morris. KC up by three, can increase their lead here. Morris, working against number 22, Dags. Breaks across the timeline. Morris. Works around, Dax. Uses the uh, screen by Pelton. Puts the shot up and in. That was depressing because that was over Lorenzo Johnson. Good move by Morris. Five-point lead for Gate City. Clock winding down. 3.50 to play in this ball game for the Highlands District Championship. The fans are wild now. We're going down the stretch. And Scott Jones drives. Shot up from 12 is good for Scott Jones. The lead is three for Gate City. 58 to 55. Hensley. We're working up court for Gate City. Staying up the offense. Guarded closely by Jones. Passes for Ferguson. Ferguson back to Hensley. Hensley thought about the three. Gives to Morris. Morris pulls up for the jumper. But off for Kevin Morris. Two more for Moose. And again, this game seesaws back and forth. Gate City 60. Virginia High 55. Both teams in the bonus. Scott Jones comes down, directing his team. Tried to take a screen, looking for someone to pass to. Gets it to Dags in the lane. He loses it. Ferguson comes up with it for Gay City. Gay City slowing it down as Ferguson hands off to Morris. Gay City up by five, 60 and 55 with 250 left. Morris tries to play, shoots. In and out, rebounded by Pilton. Pilton back up. No good shot on the ball, and he is hammered by Kenny Smith of Virginia High. That'll be foul number two on Kenny Smith. And the big man, Chris Shelton, will go to the line shooting the one plus one. Shelton, with five points on the evening, can give the Devils a six-point lead if he makes this shot. Shelton takes the basketball. Eisenmark shoots. Good. Gate City now up by six, 61-55. Is this deja vu or what? It seems just like him back at Gate City. Down the stretch, the Bearcats broke down. Shelton, eyeing the mark, shoots. 
No good. Felton gets hit and rebounded by Virginia High's Mumpower. And Jason Mumpower comes down slowly, and Morris called for a reaching foul from behind. Dave Mason just shrugs his head, says, oh, my. Three fouls on Morris. This game is not over, P.J. Two three-pointers, and Virginia High right back into the contest. They are in the little bonus now, and they will be shooting one plus one. And at the line, it will be Scott Jones, number 10. Jones, who has come alive here in the, sec in the second half with six points in the second half, 10 overall. He shoots the one and one. JT trying to signal a timeout. And a lane violation called on a Virginia High player. Number 30, Kenny Smith, just stepped into the lane when Jones had the ball in the free throw line. Just an innocent mistake by Smith that cost Virginia High their one and one free throw situation. Now Gate City gets their timeout. What a mistake by Kenny Smith. That could prove crucial. PJ, that was really whenever the basketball goes into that player's hand at the line, you don't even want to move an inch because a lane violation is all you need at this stage in the game. As the fans get into it. Ferguson needs some help. Finally lobs in. That's a five-second violation. The ball will go back to Virginia High as Ferguson could not get it in. Very good defense by Virginia High. Okay, the Bearcats will take it out. Here's the situation. 2.38 left to play in the ball game. They are down by five, 61-55. Scott Jones has the inbounds to Mumpower. Shot over Shelton, good for Mumpower. Ferguson brings it in to Morris. The lead is now four with 2.28 remaining. Morris gets it across the timeline to Ferguson. Ferguson gives back to Morris. Gacy will probably try to milk some clock here and try to get the good shot. Morris passes to Pendleton. Pendleton needs some help, finds Ferguson. Ferguson to Morris. Morris looking for the cutting player, cannot find one. Pulls up from three. Bang! Kevin Morris! And that was a three, and the fans are jubilant. 64 to 57 to score. Now we're down to two minutes in the ball game. Virginia High down by seven. Scott Jones with the ball. Gate City playing a matchup zone. They pass it back to Jones. He passes inside to Lorenzo Johnson. Turnaround jumper, no good. Kenny Smith comes up with the rebound. Gives the mump power from 14. Shot is short. There's Jason Henson for the rebound. Hensley for Gay City. 140 left in the game. Gay City looking to take the Holland District title with a win here. Hensley passes for Pendleton. Pendleton looking inside for Morris. Cannot get it to him. Dribbles it out to Ferguson. Ferguson working against Johnson. Needs some help. He's got to get the ball. Somebody finds Pendleton. Pendleton needing some help. Drives, passes back to first, and gives to Morris. Gay City doing a good job milking the clock. Morris dribbles between two players, and he is fouled by Dags with 111 left in the, on in the game. Gay City up by seven. Can be eight and possibly nine if Morris converts here. Third foul on, on Lucky Dags. As the fans are on their feet, and the timeout. This could be crucial. If Morris hits this, it could break the momentum of Virginia High. Morris, size the mark, shoots. It will not roll, rebounded by Mumpower. Quickly now, Lorenzo Johnson down the court, looking for some help. Morris is guarding him, Johnson for three. He hits the jumper from three-point land. Lorenzo Johnson hits from three. And Gate City says, settle down. Morris with a basketball. Gate City's got the man they want to have it. Instantly for Gate City, now we'll settle it down for Gate City. 52 seconds remaining. Morris for Gacy. Passes to Ferguson. Ferguson works it back out to Hensley. Hensley to Morris. And Hensley is fouled by number 20, Lorenzo Johnson. Jason Hensley, he's deadly from the foul line, PJ. I tell you, if, I'm, if you're Ballard Lee, you are faced with such a headache. Who do you foul? I mean, you've got Hensley and Morris and Ferguson who are all guards who naturally shoot excellent. Then you've got... Pendleton and Shelton, excellent foul shooters for big men. Hensley's one and one, the shot is up. No good. Oh up my. Three. And now Lorenzo Johnson coming up court. They're down by four. Johnson gonna drive all the way. Dishes off, no one there, but Jones picks it up. They pass to Dag in the corner. Johnson for three. It's good, another three-pointer for Lorenzo Johnson. Johnson is hurt. I think he pulled his leg muscle when he came down. They're helping him up. And he's limping. Oh, my, a tragedy for the young man. Looks like he's going to be all right. But the Bearcats have come back. They are only down by one. Johnson, let's see, will he go to the bench? Yes, he will. And Freeman will check in. I think. No, this game is not over, PJ. Five what a, what a, 
<laughs> what a job that Johnson has done to bring these Bearcats back. Devils up by one, 64-63. As Gacy wins about the ball with 29 seconds. I'd say Ballard Lee right here says, let's foul somebody and get the ball back. Wait a minute. Okay, there Johnson goes. They had six men. Johnson goes out limping. All right, 29 seconds left. One point lead for Gate City. Both teams are in the bonus, so one and one and any foul.